is he? How are we going to stop him? We're calculating where Godzilla will most likely hit the shore. Type 3 Kiryu is ready, ma'am. We will prepare for deployment immediately. We're short on time. Deploy the machine ASAP. We owe Hatagaya a great deal for this. A kaiju has appeared. It's Mothra! Commencing generator shutdown sequence. 180 seconds until shutdown. Squad, begin your assault. Tank 3 Kiryu, engage. The generator is losing power. Tank 3 Kiryu will arrive in 30 seconds. Hey, we're sitting ducks here! For the camera, Godzilla, baby! By collecting data, we are able to discover new strategies we can use to employ against Godzilla. Type 3 Kiryu has arrived.
you. He's badly damaged. The last remaining generator in the country has been destroyed, ma'am. Sixty years of innovation and progress obliterated in the blink of an eye. If the Earth could speak, maybe she would tell us Godzilla was here to cleanse this world. That's quite enough, Operator. I wonder if Godzilla will still search out more G-Energy. He looks to be heading back into the sea. He's returning to hibernation until humanity has recovered, at which time he'll no doubt rise from the depths to wreak havoc on us all again. Something's happening to Godzilla! What is it? Godzilla's body temperature is rising fast. The only explanation is that his internal organs are experiencing mass instability due to consuming too much G-energy in a short span of time. If this continues, a G-energy explosion is inevitable. <sighs> The explosion is likely to reach the upper atmosphere and cause a cataclysmic event of global proportions. The released highly concentrated G-Energy will disperse over the entire planet, damaging nature and people to an immeasurable degree. We must do everything in our power to prevent this occurrence, but what can we actually do to stop it? We could freeze him. Freeze him? Yes, G-Force possesses freeze missiles. Firing them all at Godzilla would freeze him and lower his body temperature momentarily. And thus largely suppressing the damage, it's our best shot. But what are the chances it'll work? It's worth a try, at least. The problem is our weaponry has been largely destroyed in battle. We're unsure if we can perform at optimum levels. And then there's the question of what to do after we freeze Godzilla. Knowing our limits is half the battle. We must concentrate on stopping that explosion. We are unanimous. Take us to maximum disaster level. We're on the verge of extinction. Uh, understood. Contacting all G-Force units as we speak, ma'am. We've used every damn trick we've got. It's out of our hands now. missiles at will. These should freeze Godzilla and deplete his atomic energy. Super X3, engage. First squad, begin your assault. Switch to the video feed to collect data on Godzilla. Super X3 will arrive in 30 seconds. Hey, we're sitting ducks here! Second squad, begin your assault. We've got another one. Godzilla has reached the data collection point. I've got eyes on the prize, people! Begin your assault. 
Receiving an emergency communication. What the hell could it be? Well, what is it? We're picking up on another kaiju signal, ma'am. It's heading straight for Godzilla. What did humanity ever do to deserve this? Super X-3 has been damaged from Godzilla's attack. Seventh Squad, begin your assault. I've got the skies covered. A kaiju has appeared. Another Godzilla. Ninth Squad, begin your assault. I need backup. down.